Hi, this is Scott with 4D Tech. Today we will be working on a 1617 body style F-150. This F-150 is SYNC 3 equipped but does not have navigation. We will be adding a navigation equipped APIM kit from 4D Tech. We will need a few simple tools for this process. Basic Phillips and flathead screwdrivers a 7 millimeter socket on a small socket driver, a 7 millimeter nut driver, and plastic dash tools. For your convenience, we offer the plastic dash tools and the 7 millimeter nut driver on our website. To begin, we need to remove this upper tray in order to gain access to the screws for the front dash. We are not going to completely remove the upper tray, we're just going to pop the front lip of it up to gain access to the screws. Put our hand in the tray and begin to release the tray and push up with our dash tool to release the clips across the top. Once we have those clips released, there are two 7 millimeter screws underneath the front lip of the tray that hold the front of this dash on. We use our socket driver to take those screws out. Once the two screws are out, you'll grab the top edge of the front of the dash and pull towards you till it begins to release. At the gap around the screen, you'll finish helping the dash panel off all the way down to the heater controls. Once that's released, there's a few connectors that need to come out. Make note of any connectors that you disconnect so that you know where to put them back in when you're done. There's little clips on the end of these connectors. You push the little clips and slide them out. The larger connectors down here have a clip underneath. Push the clip in and unplug the connector. Same on this side. Now that you have all the connectors off, set your dash panel out of the way. Next we will need to take these six 7mm screws out from around the screen. Once the six screws are out, we'll remove the screen, which has the API on that we're replacing attached to the back of it. There's three connectors that need to come out in order to get the screen and API on out of the dash. That is the GPS connector, the USB connector, and the main 54 pin connector. We'll start with the USB cable, pushing the clip on the top and unplugging it. The GPS connector there's a little clip underneath it that you'll push and then use a screwdriver below the connector to help the connector out. Last, the main connector, you'll push in this little safety that holds this lever in place, swing the lever towards the APIM all the way till the connector completely releases and comes out. With the screen and that APIM removed from the dash, we now need to replace the APIM on the back of the screen with the new one from 4D Tech that is navigation equipped. First we need to unplug the blue connector on the screen cable. We will push the little tab in and use a flat blade screwdriver to just help release it upwards and push it out of the way. 
There are three Phillips screws that need to be removed. Once the three screws are removed, we'll take the non-navigation equipped APIM out of the way. The new APIM that is navigation equipped in its place and put the three screws back in. And then just reconnect the screen cable. And now this APIM and screen is ready to go back in the dash. Now we will put the screen and the APIM back in in the reverse order that everything came out of. Beginning with plugging back in the 54 pin main connector. This is the most crucial connector. We want to make sure this is fully seated or else the system may not function right. You'll line up the connector and push it in till the gray lever starts to move. And then push the gray lever the rest of the way which will draw the connector in to fully seat into the APIM. We will take our USB cable and plug it back into the black connector. The gray connector is unused. And then we'll plug back in the GPS connector. Now we put the screen back into place and replace the six seven millimeter screws we took out earlier. Now the six screws are back in place, we'll put the dash panel back on. Remember we need to reconnect all the connectors that we unplugged earlier. When you're putting in connectors, there shouldn't be any resistance, they should just push right in until they clip. With all the connectors back in place, we'll lift the tray out of the way and push all the clips back in for the front of the dash. Now we just need to replace the two screws up top that we took out earlier. With the screws back in, snap the tray back in place. And now you've seen how simple it is to upgrade your SYNC 3 system to navigation in the F-150. You'll see as it loads up, there's now the navigation icon here. And in just a moment, you'll see the map complete and load. Thank you very much for checking out our video.